Let us take one more question on geometric progression. Given that the third term of a GP is 9, find the product of its first five terms. Now if you remember, a geometric progression looks something like this. A, AR1, AR2, AR3 and so on until you reach AR to the power n minus 1. Right? You are told that the third term of the GP is 9. Right? So in other words, AR2, which is this third term, is equal to 9. In any case, you can also write this as AR to the power n minus 1 or AR to the power 3 minus 1. Right? This is for the situation when let's say this was 6th or 7th term and you had to find it out. You can't just indefinitely keep on writing the GP like this. Right? So you are told that AR2 is equal to 9. But there is no further information which is provided to you. And what is it that you need to find out? You need to find out the product of the first five terms. So let's say these are the four terms. So the fourth one will be AR4. Right? So you have to find out the product of these five terms. You have to find out A into AR into AR square into AR cube into a r4 right now whenever you are given something like this you know the first step which you should see is can i find out the value of a and r in this question unfortunately you can't because the only information which is provided to you is this there are two variables and one equation so we can't solve it then the way we approach these type of questions is let's see can we try and put this equation or whatever is the requirement of a question into some form where we can use this information. So if I multiply this I get a 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times okay a to the power 5. Similarly for r can I just write it down similarly r1 plus r2 will give you r3 plus 3 will give you 6 plus 4 will give you r to the power 10. Right? Can I put this in the form of this equation. Why not? If I write this as a r square to the power 5, isn't it the same thing as this? Both these powers are multiples of 5. So I just take 5 as the whole power, right? And I just write inside as a r2 because a r2 to the power 5 is also equal to a to the power 5 r to the power 10. But I know what is the value of a r to the power 2? This is 9 to the power 5 and that's your answer. If you want you can just solve it on your calculator also mathematically. Let's do that. So we need to find out 9 raised to the power 5 is equal to 59049. So the product of the first 5 terms of a GP whose third term is 9 is 59049. Right? I hope you would have liked this video. You can also visit us at our website iadiobook.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the various developments that are there. Right? You can also share this with your friends and help us create a free educated world. Thank you for being with us today.